All right, everyone, next up in our handstand progression, again, this is one of those more entry, entry level things where I'm trying to start supporting myself on my hands, get my hands flat, uh, ac or accommodate, introduce my wrist to taking some of my body weight, taking some of the load that it's gonna need for the handstand. Um, if you watched yesterday's video, we did a short seated variation. Now the next progression is a long seated variation. So short seated is uh, I have my feet elevated, my knees are close to my chest, and now long seated is my feet are out like this, my knees are straight. Um, I wanna talk about a little progression here. So what we're gonna do first is this, I'm, I'm saying supported and unsupported variations, is your butt on the ground. So I can gradually ramp up the force that my wrist learns how to tolerate uh, with my butt supported on the ground. So I don't need to jump right into doing handstands with my 180 pounds or what, however much you weigh. I can instead kind of like um, tailor it. I can, I can um, change it on the fly as I get more and more comfortable with it by just pressing down a little bit harder. So for the long seated variation, the other uh, modification thing that I wanna teach you is you can elevate your butt, okay? So this would be the starting version of it. Again, I am gonna just start with a little tailbone drop and I'm keeping my neck tall and I'm trying to bring my belly button back toward my spine. Then from there, I just gradually push into the cushion here. It could be a firmer surface and preferably is a firmer surface for you. If you're on a cushion, just make sure you take away all the slack and it's not kind of like balancing on a puffed up ball. And I just push gradually and I start, and when I do that, I start to feel my abs kick on even more than they were before. And that's a good way to kind of check to see if you're doing it well or not. So I'm just gonna hold here for breaths. <sighs> try to make sure I stay really tall. Try to make sure I keep that belly button in toward my stomach contents. And if I get all that when I film myself, I should be able to see my upper back expand. Now the progression is to bring your knees up closer to your body by putting your butt on the ground. So it's the same idea. <sighs> Tailbone drop, head is tall, and I push. <sighs> on the exhale, try to push a little bit harder than you have been, but Again, for this supported variation, my butt is still on the ground. <sighs> Things we're looking for here, I talked about it in the short seated video. Don't let your lower ribs come forward on your inhale like this. <sighs> if you do that, you're not gonna get the upper back expansion that you need to position your arm and the muscles and the nerves that run all the way through this upper extremity into a position that will tolerate not only the mobility that you need for a handstand, but also the load that you need to give your hands and wrists and shoulders and everything. Um, other things, just make sure that when you are kind of keeping this tailbone tuck, you're not <sighs> crunching. It's really easy to forget about staying up tall. And when you get up tall, you're not leaning back, right? You can go, you can go too far in either direction. So just keep an eye on that. Uh, feel free also to just try to do them wrong. If you can do them wrong, then you start to learn how you know good stuff feels, how bad stuff feels, and you're gonna get a lot better at coaching and cueing yourself. So that is the supported long-seated abs.